Ladies and gentlemen, Violet Games here. Gonna be doing another post commentary. This time, it's solo queue in quick play. I tried to do a live commentary and competitive today, and I fucking was so goddamn salty. Like, when you're in high platinum, like, I'm at 2,910, I believe, is my current competitive skill ranking, whatever the fuck. You get really stressed out when people let you down in this game. It is kind of hilarious how, like, fucking angry I will get at people just for like letting me down and a lot of the a lot of the trends continue to persist when it comes to competitive like the trend this week is to win the first few three rounds right and then switch to a terrible composition and lose the next three and then keep the crap composition in the final round because why the fuck not that seems to be the trend this week in competitive and it's driving me fucking nuts to the point where I could switch to Widowmaker and do better than my soldier. It's just ridiculous. Don't you think in high platinum and diamond rank, like that's who I fight with mostly and work with, you'd be good at like your characters by now. But no, it doesn't seem to be the case. There's no consistency. At least it's more consistent than quick play. Like quick play is the strangest amalgamation of People who are either really good at the game, or people who are so fucking bad at the game, it's like, how do you even, do you even control her? Do you even control her anymore? But yeah, it's been pretty stressful, but when this tends to happen to me, and I get kind of depressed, and then I just play Widowmaker on QP for like, three weeks. Because I don't know, there's something about sniping that is very, very therapeutic to me, I'm not sure what it is. I'm sure you guys agree with that, because a, a lot of people watch my Widowmaker stuff over anything. Like, if I put Widowmaker in a thumbnail at all, it usually gets more views. I, I mean, I get it. She's got a big ass. And the internet likes kittens and big asses and other things. But yeah. So yeah, QP has been kind of strange. But competitive is just as strange, if not more strange. Like, I keep seeing Symmetra in competitive matches now. And I've seen Torbjorn in competitive matches now. Like, solo queue competitive is almost like the Wild West. It's like what quick play used to be. Because right now, quick play is kind of like 75% of the time you get put with people who don't know how to shoot. <laughs> and then, like... Fucking competitive is like the 50-50 split now where you keep flipping a coin and sometimes you just get the like wrong end of the fucking competitive scene. And you can't make up for people's mistakes. You can try to adjust the comp to help them out, but if they're not putting in good work as soldier, you're kind of fucked. It really is kind of that way. But I watched some super competitive console matches last night. My, my, my friend is... um. A part of a pro team now, or so she sh says. And I was watching them play, and they, in both teams, while it was kind of fun to watch this high competitive match, it was like, they all played the same way. And the reason I'm talking about this is because I kind of want to talk about the meta just a little bit, since this video is not going to have any real context behind it. I'm not going to talk about my gameplay too much. I'm just shooting bitches in the face. I mean, what, what, what else can you, can you do as Widowmaker? The, uh, the, uh, it looks like all these pro teams are just kind of playing the same, where they have three tanks <clears throat> and two support and then like one DPS or something along those lines. And, and, and guys, I hate it. I hate this new fucking team comp nonsense. It's just boring. And not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not throwing any shade on people who like love playing tanks or whatever. But when you have to pick three heroes from one class every single match, it, it's, it gets stale. It's not fun to watch, really. It's kind of boring as fuck. To the point where I'm like, why am I even trying to get to Diamond at this point? If this is what high skill Overwatch is. If it's just three tanks and then no one else is doing shit. It's just, it's just say it. I, I don't... I can't even life. <clears throat> But yeah, shout out to all my people who are feeling the same way about the meta. And I really do feel bad for McCree especially, and a lot of people are like, oh no, McCree's just as good in the right hands. I'm like, but yeah, but Soldier has a fucking, like, fully automatic sniper rifle. Like, his range is just really, really damn good. And I understand it's necessary to counter Pharah, 
Like, on console, we need a counter for Pharah, so I'm okay with that aspect of it. But it kind of shits on every other hero in the game. Like, I can't play Widowmaker without people getting mad at me and shit. They're like, oh, you're not playing Soldier, fuck you. Oh, you're not playing um, the meta right now, fuck you. Oh, we need two tanks at least. Like, if there aren't two tanks on the field, someone's losing their shit. It's just, it's just sad. I, I, where's Junkrat, huh? Where's Torbjorn? I, I, miss, I miss my heroes. I miss my, like, variety in games. And Quick Play is the only place that really has that variety anymore, and it's really fucking sad. Like, I don't know what... Um, needs to happen. I think what needs to happen, honestly, and this is just a theory, they need to buff Sombra to where she negates this fucking tank meta. Because let's think about it. If she can hack effectively, and if she can, you know, use her ult effectively, that's going to negate triple tank. Because tanks stay alive for one big ass reason only, and that is the fact that they can keep their barrier up consistently. Even if you flank as Tracer, a good MLG team is going to deal with you really, really quickly to the point where you just kind of get melted like say they have a really good soldier who's really good at tracking he's gonna melt your tracer like almost instantly so i mean i think if sombra was a bit better she'd be able to enter group fights take down at least one of those barriers and that would shut down a tank or two it would make tanks less viable in the long run if sombra was very effective at removing barriers that's just my theory anyway it's just just kind of throwing that in there. Ooh, let's see what's going on. Bastion's fucking up. Oh, he's Ubered. I hope they deal with him, because this is just sad if they don't. <laughs> Look at Genji. Oh, there Anna's pocketing that Bastion. Oh, I thought that for sure Bastion was going to get a kill, but he got ganked. I'm checking my scoreboard, because I have a giant ego penis. Look at my gold rifle. Isn't it purdy? I've actually kind of fallen out of love with the Huntress skin. Let me let me guys know how you feel about the Huntress skin, but... I don't know, I've, I've kind of fallen out of favor with it. Because I just see it all the time, and I'm getting bored of it. I'll probably switch to Pancha, because it's gold on gold, and who doesn't like excessive amounts of gold? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I've been having a blast as Widowmaker, guys. Like, I've had a ton of games where I've just put in so much work gotten so much crits and I, I don't know I just really love this character also I've switched over actually I think I mentioned this in the last video but I switched over to dot and I've tried using the short crosshair like every other Widowmaker player on earth I don't like it I don't know what it is about me and the dot but me and the dot get along just fine I cannot leave the dot me and the dot are like a staple we love each other it's a very it's a very prosperous relationship I can't hit on in the face I do hit her though voice once Help out my Gengers. Yeah, that's another thing. Genji kind of fell out of the meta too. And I like Genji. I don't like to play Genji, but I like seeing Genji. I love my little weeaboos. Playing around with their little samurai swords. Where are my weeaboos? And also Mei. Where's Mei? Only in quick play, Mei. Only in quick play. And that's a fucking shame. And solo queue competitive. There's Widowmaker. Anyways, we got the victory. That's all I really had to say, guys. I, I knew this would be a short one, but I wanted to post something Overwatch related since it's been a while. It's been a while. Just yeah. kind of a ramble. Ooh, I got play. I didn't even remember I got play of the game. But I remember where it was. I was watching. It was at the gas station. Because I, I done killed the Ana, and then I done killed the Junkrat. Well, Junkrat was given. Actually, that's not even a Junkrat. A, what the fuck? Yeah, it was. What am I saying? What is love? Anyways, I'll take that. Do I get an epic? Are these guys douchebags? Do they not even vote? Wow. Salt. Salt. How dare you. Oh, I should have opened a loot box at the end of it. Like every other YouTuber in existence. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this commentary. It's kind of a ramble. But, you know, I had fun. Thanks for watching.